deep down my heart, I like science. So I think I'm always a scientist. I was awarded a research grant from National Institute on Aging, which is a part of the NIH uh, Institute. This is the first time that an active research grant was awarded to a community college as the leading institution. The project is to investigate the aging process and the stress process using the animal model of C. elegans. C. elegans is a type of pond worms. It's been one of the very popular genetic models for scientific studies. Some of the experiments are simple enough, so the undergraduate can handle it. This is a plate that is full of worms. Some of them are adults, some of them are still young, some of them are still hatching. So I have to pick out the adult worms and transfer them to this plate, which has gel and bacteria, and bacteria is what they use to eat. That's their food. I like this because I get to learn about all the species of worms and how they, they are connected to humans because they have 80% of human genes and it's incredible because they're so tiny. We take about 20 C. elegans in one test tube. We freeze them so their whole um, like structure is like destroyed where all that we have is a DNA component. The long-term goal for this project is actually to um, identify the genetic components of the aging process. 80 to 90 percent of the human genes has a homolog in the C. elegans genome. So therefore, uh, the study in the C. elegans genetic pathways or interactions can give us um, the insight of how the human aging and the process works. We're able to make experiments depending on heat stress, how well it adapts to its environment, um, how long it lives, and with that we determine if these specific genes are beneficial or, or harmful to their survival. What we discovered is that we found a new genes has played a role in a stress response. Now usually the stress and the aging is, you know, very correlated process. As you might imagine, you know, a person is stressed out, then usually they live shorter, okay? So that's, you know, a general observation. So therefore, discovering of the gene that, you know, re that regulates the stress usually will give us the insight of those genes on the longevity. Dr. Liang is an inspiration to me. My first time in the lab, I got goosebumps, I was excited. She helped me figure out like, what I wanted to do. Some of the students they really like science, so they have a passion to know the science, to discover the new things. They actually want to do work. I want to get my MD, PhD in medicine. I want to be a biomedical engineer. I'm just basically going to follow Dr. Liang's footsteps and do the same thing that she does and try to accomplish what she did. I like to see their potential has been achieved. If I can help them to achieve what they can achieve in the science field, I am actually a teacher for the students if that's been accomplished.